All right, moving on to our last section in chapter 10. We've got section 8, which is dealing with choosing between a linear quadratic or an exponential model uh, based on a table that's given. So based on kind of like a, um, it's not really a scatter plot. It's more, it's a table with some points and you have to try to identify what type of function is being used, okay? And which one would fit the best. So we're going to talk about some of the properties for each one. So here are three functions that we're going to look at specifically. One's linear, the next one's quadratic, and then we have exponential. We've talked about linear and quadratic already um, uh, for whole chapters. Quadratic was this whole chapter. Uh, linear was a few chapters back. Remember, linear is a straight line. And then we've talked about exponential mostly with like exponential growth, um, but not uh, too much detail on those. So these are your different ones. Uh, so you so, see that linear is a straight line. Okay, there is no curve in it. A quadratic curves around. It starts high, it drops down, and then it goes back up, and it's symmetrical on both sides. And the last one is exponential, which exponential is like um, it just keeps growing in one direction, so it keeps increasing over and over and over. Okay, so let's talk about linear first. So when we're dealing with linear, here's your equations for linear. There's also standard uh, form, but here's your slope intercept and your point slope forms. So these would be the ways that you would want to write your linear functions. Y equals mx plus b or y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Either one of those would be fine for your uh, linear functions. But it needs a linear growth. So every time the x increases by 1, the y should also increase by the same amount. So if it increases by 3 every time, like your arithmetic functions, those would be linear, okay? Every time it increases by the same amount as you increase your x. So if your x increases by 1 and your y increases by 8 each time, that would be linear. They could also decrease, so if it keeps decreasing by a constant number, that is your linear. Okay, next is your quadratics, which is your y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, uh, which needs to have that parabola, so it has kind of a bottoming out point, or topping out if it's going the other way, and then it arcs in both directions. Okay, it's not going to be a v, it's, that's more like an absolute value graph. It's going to be more curved, and it's going to increase its growth as it moves on. So as you see from the first to the, from zero, to 1, it's increased by 1, but from two, 1 to 2, it's increased by 3, okay? And if you look back the other way, increased by 1, increased by 3, it's the exact same, okay? So that's the one thing with quadratic is that you have it go up in both directions or down in both directions, okay? Um, it kind of does that little arc. Last one is your exponential, which y equals a, b, x, b to the x, and that just has a constant growth. Okay, either a constant growth or a constant decay. So as the x increases, it should keep getting larger, and as the x decreases, it should keep getting smaller, or the reverse. If the x keeps decreasing, uh, it gets larger and it gets smaller. It doesn't have a change in direction, so it doesn't go, oh, it's increasing, then decreasing. Okay, If it just keeps getting larger by um, multiples, then it is exponential. So you notice here, this first one increases by 1, next one's increased by 2, next one's by 4, and the next one would end up being by 8. So you see it's growing at a faster rate, and that's going to help you identify if it's exponential or not. Okay, okay so let's say we have this function, or we have this table, and we want to know which function represents it. What you want to do is once you have that, those points, that table, graph them on, on a uh, quadrant or a coordinate plane. Okay, so I've grafted the points here. So now if I look at these points, which function does it look like? Does it look like it's linear? No, it's, I can't draw a single line through all those points, so it's not going to be linear. Does it go, does it start high, fall down to a bottom, and then go back up? No. This one we would probably say is exponential because it just increases the whole way. Okay. So if you look at the table, the table, the y values right here, the y values of the table keep getting larger. So they keep getting larger, which means that that's probably going to be your exponential, at larger at a multiplying rate. It's being multiplied by 4 every time. Okay, So it ends up being multiplied by 4 every time, so that's why this one um, would be an exponential. Okay, so now this one, take a second, or 
this one we do the same thing. We want to plot our points. So if we have those points, which type of function do you think this represents? Right, this one would probably be linear because it looks like I can draw a single straight line through all of those points, which I can. Okay, so I can draw a line through all those points, making this a linear function. And as you see with this function, it's increasing by 3 every time. So because it's increasing by 3 every time, I know it's linear. So if it's increasing by a multiplication every time, it's not linear. It's either going to be, it's probably going to be exponential. If it's increasing by an addition or a subtraction, then that's going to be linear. Okay. And now the last one is our, uh, is this one. So if we were to graph these points, okay, we end up with this function right here. Okay. So we end up with those points. Now, which one does this one look like it represents? That's right, a quadratic. And it looks like a quadratic because what ends up happening is that we end up with that curve going around. Okay, So it bottoms out somewhere and it goes back up or it tops out. Okay, You have a nice little bowl shape. Okay, And that means it's going to be a quadratic function. Okay, And if you look at the y values here, you see it decreases, decreases, and then it increases, increases. Okay. So it decreases for the first part, and then it starts to increase. Quadratics are the only one that are going to do that out of these three, that they'll change direction from an increase to a decrease or decrease to an increase. Okay. All right. So uh, section eight okay, is your homework. It's going to say to state which type of function it is, and it's also going to ask you to write the function. Do the best you can with writing the functions. The linear one should be fairly simple. Exponential ones, you're kind of looking for what the growth is. And quadratic, you might be able to figure out too. But if you want to use your calculator, here's the step-by-step -step by using one of your calculators, either TI-83 or 84. Okay. Um, what you'd have to do is you end up pushing a couple buttons, you plot, or you start typing in your data. Um, and then they have linear regression, quad regression, and an exponential regression for you, and they tell you what the function is. If you want to try this, you can. Okay, um, It will be able to give you what the equation is, uh, but just do your best with the equations if you don't have your calculator or if these step-by-steps don't uh, make sense. Okay, so Just do your best with writing your equation.